Good morning, guys. It's another day, and it's another one. We back. We back. We back. <laughs> All right, guys. Hi, guys. Um, it's Tuesday today. Uh, it's Tuesday today. Hold on, before I get copyrighted. Okay. So it's Tuesday today, just giving you guys like something very quick, quick. It's Tuesday today, I am about to go get something that y'all have been waiting for me to get. You understand? It is now about 2 9, I think, I think. To 10, I mean, let me check my phone. Yeah, it's going to 10 o'clock. So 25 to 10. I'm just going to quickly add my shirt that I'm going to wear today. And then, yeah. My outfit is very simple. I think I've been repeating this outfit for quite some time now. It's just my cycler short sports bra with this long ass top. And my kicks. That's it. Nothing hectic. Today, I didn't do makeup. I literally just put foundation, concealer, lashes. That's it. Nothing hectic. So, yeah. Just letting you guys know what I'm going to do today and stuff. Um... It's going to be a hype. It's going to be a nice one. I hope it's going to be a nice one. And I hope like we're going to do the most. You understand? So, yeah. Let me finish. And then I'll catch you guys when I'm leaving. So, you guys can see where the girl is going. But if you guys are wondering which lashes I'm wearing. Ladies, I'm wearing Yumi Dreams lashes. That's the one I'm wearing. With just my NYX concealer. And my Yardly foundation. That's it. Nothing else. Alright, guys. Bye. Alright guys, update. Um, I am out of the crib. I'm going to the parlor. I'm a, I think I'm a bit early because he said 11 o'clock. So I'm like 20 minutes, 30 minutes early. But yeah, nervous, nervous. Like y'all don't understand. I am nervous. But I'm ready. I've been wanting this. Y'all have been, so I'm ready for it and yeah did i just blow it out no not yet no. yeah so see what you do baby you're my appointment <laughs> did my first tattoo um it's the first one and um, it's probably not my last one because i'm planning on getting three so yeah the story behind this tattoo um let me put my camera a little bit here yeah so i've been through so much from the past two years i think from let's say Early 2019 or mid 2019, I was already going through a lot. I did things to certain people that hurt them, 
many people did, they, did, did things to me that hurt me. So like, there was a lot of drama, there was a lot of karma, there was a lot of getting back to whoever and whoever. Um, as majority of the people know, I moved away from my mom's family and I ended up being so disconnected with my mom's family where it was hectic, you understand? Like it was so hectic to a point where now, where I needed people the most, I didn't get them the most, you understand? So yeah, that's what happened. Then I moved closer with my dad's family very welcoming i had to end up changing schools and whatnot and whatnot that's how my side hustles are being broken down now i need to find new ways into making something happen now i need to find new ways into making a living you understand so like it was quite a lot and it's quite difficult to enter a place and still open up to them and be like this is actually what i do for a living are you guys going to accept me that way or are you guys are going to judge me so Yo, it's been quite a lot. I've been so, I've lost a lot of friends. I've lost a very, I've lost a lot of close family. I've lost contact. I've lost connectivity with certain people. I don't have the same touch with everybody than, than I used to be. Um, I'm a people's person. You understand? So when I love, I love very hard. You understand? So I had a lot of that and it got broken down. Relationships were breaking. Things were not going well and I wasn't connecting with anybody anymore. I was literally fed up of life. Literally, I remember I had like two months of having suicidal thoughts and being like, girl, take your life and leave because you are really not up for what's going to happen. It's been, yo, it's been a lot. It's really been a lot. I've faced issues where i lost myself in the process of trying to be someone else trying to make other people happy trying to make sure that i fill up to certain people's needs to fit in the circle which has been the worst and i remember my therapist once told me that girl if if you can't help yourself i can't help you because as much as you tell me your stories and you tell me whatever, you know what you need to do to change. Yet you are not allowing yourself to get to that level of changing. So yeah, that was a lot. And I had to do with that and I had to be on that point. Then came my big move where I decided to move to Cape Town. Moving to Cape Town was a situation where I can't stay home any longer. I can't be at home around my family because I feel too crowded around them. And trust me, where I was, I didn't even feel like I had something within me. And I was just like, no, I need to move away from here. Go start afresh. Start on a clean slate. You understand? Start on a situation where now I know that nobody's going to tell me this. I don't have to listen to this. I don't have to. All I have to do is focus. I'm here for focusing. I'm here for doing something. You understand? So then... In Cape Town, a more shit happened, fought with a lot of friends, lost friends, and lost contact with certain people. Things are being awkward again. And I still have about, I still have three people in my life right now that I'm close to now. And trust, they know who they are. They, they were there to tell me that, bro, we told you so. And this is what happened. Bruh, do this rather than that. Even in my biggest mistake of almost dying or almost taking my life away or almost being raped or almost doing whatever once again was a matter of, bruh, stop the fucking thing of making stupid decisions. You need to come up and be cool. You understand? And then I came about starting my own hustle again, which is Beauty by Nkensi, where I do makeup and photo shoots. I'm like, I have a passion of taking pictures. I have a passion of creating content. I have a passion of showing you what an aesthetic is. You understand? So let me bring my passion and put it to work. Then came about um, Beauty by Nkensi. Alongside Beauty by Nkensi, I've always had Don Africa, which of course, me not being truthfully honest with myself and my business partner, I need to also like work more on that because now it needs to like uplift. So now I told myself, girl, you have two businesses that you want to uplift. So uplift them. Understanding that you are very, very passionate about these things. You have the power to do all these things. You have the courage to, and the strength to do all these things. Then do them. Don't sit back, relax and tell yourself that, oh, no, everything will be good. Oh, no, things will come to you. No, you understand? 
and i hated the thing of i always told myself oh my dad will do this my dad my dad my aunt my mom my dad no i told myself at some point bro sorry please mind my language i literally told myself bro fuck this shit it's your time to shine it's your time to rise so moral of everything i've been through a lot and i really wanted to uplift myself and be like girl you are powerful you strong you're courageous and you are way more able to get anything than what you have right now so that's basically a summarized story of because if i go in detail guys we're going to switch it till tomorrow and i'm going to tell you guys who did what way i don't want to mention that the main thing is that i have the power and the strength as well as my courage to push me through everything i'm just getting emotional right now and i am so happy that i am able to do so much i have so much for myself and that girl's flourishing like i'm gonna be somewhere at some point nobody's gonna bring me down nobody's gonna tell me anything nobody's gonna no 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 no, no. darling we are moving forward so that is the moral of the story behind my tattoo um so yeah i'll share guys i'll share details down in the description below on where to get your tattoo from where i got this first one from the pain is not that bad people are like oh my gosh it's so it's not so you literally feel this thing of the needle and whatnot but then it ends up being okay like even now like i'm not so it's underneath this if i show you guys i'm not going through that hectic pain so i have this uh so i was instructed to have this for the next like two hours or so so i'll only take this off later you understand not now hence i have it even under my jacket so that it doesn't move around or anything so yeah guys um that's it that's why i got what i got today i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope i inspired some of you guys please don't forget to share like comment and let your friends and family subscribe we are growing we are getting there it is time for us to flourish <laughs> all right guys it's your girl in kenzie and i'm out